36-year-old Curtis Tablotny died from an overdose while playing video games alone just days before Christmas last year. We always knew that could happen um, because we were aware that the drugs were becoming more toxic and we had uh, saved him from overdoses before. She says before his death, Curtis suffered seven overdoses. Each time, the family had to administer naloxone to save his life. In Richmond, we think that it's not happening here. It's a downtown east side homeless crisis, and it's not. A bench dedicated to Curtis can be found in Minaru Park in Richmond, just blocks from where he once worked as an insurance broker. His older brother Trevor sitting on that bench today, spreading awareness to those who pass by. I feel like the stigma around drug use is what is getting people killed. And so opening up to the public, having a conversation is, you know, putting a face to the overdose story, sure, but it's just off offering an opportunity to have kind and open conversation. And so that's why I'm here reflecting. And it's been, it's been very emotional. An unrestored car that belonged to Curtis is displayed near the bench. It reads Curtis's dream, the trunk filled with naloxone kits. There's instructions in the kit. Even when we did get him treatment, it really wasn't that helpful because uh, the doctors would take him in and then they would release him a couple days later. It was frustrating and it's sad. Curtis's fiance says when she sits inside the car, the memories and heartache intensifies. Now it's like a, in a big hole in my heart and uh, trying to uh, put the glue in every piece like uh, is broken in my heart for him. But I know that I never got to forget him. As he went deeper into his addiction, the car sat and uh, I begged him to get rid of it. I wanted it off the driveway, and he said, no, it's my dream car. Now the family hopes this car will be a vehicle for change, spreading awareness wherever it goes. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Richmond.